Hey guys, Nick T here. Um, not doing a review right now. Um, just gonna kind of do a rant right now. Um, earlier today, there was a letter sent to the FDA from five different Democratic senators, not which I'm going to name right now. Uh, U.S. Senator Dick Durbin, which this is from his website, by the way. Um, I'm just going to call him Dr. Dick. He's not a doctor, but he surely is a dick. Um, let's see, who's the other senators here? Dick Durbin, Frank Lautenberg, Senator Richard Blumenthal, Senator Sherrod Brown, and Senator Jack Reed. So the letter that they sent was to the commissioner of the FDA. Her name is the Honorable Margaret Hamburg. And I'm going to read you a little snippet, or actually probably most of this letter, uh, to give you kind of an idea of what they wrote to her. And if you want to read the full letter, go ahead and go to my Facebook page. There's a link at the bottom of this video. So here we go. Dear Commissioner Hamburg, we write to urge the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, to use deeming regulations asserting the agency's regulatory authority over tobacco products such as cigars, pipe tobacco, electronic cigarettes, and dissolvable tobacco products. As a result of the Family Smoking Prevention and Tobacco Control Act 2009, the FDA has made commendable efforts to enhance the regulation of cigarettes and smokeless tobacco products. Which, them saying that is basically, oh, we love you, <laughs> kissing ass. That's basically what it is. However, we have seen the emergence of novel nicotine products for which the FDA has yet to reserve regulatory authority, such as electronic cigarettes, which raises concerns regarding safety and marketing to children. They go ahead and already throw in the children card on that. Uh, then they go on to mention, you know, electronic cigarettes or battery powered devices that simulate natural cigarette and how they doubled in the market over the past year, or actually in the past two years. In spite of the growing popularity of e-cigarettes and limited research on long-term health effects and risk for increasing use of traditional cigarettes. So they're saying if you use an electronic cigarette, you're going to go ahead and use a real cigarette. Well, I'm going to stop right here. Here's the thing. E-cigarettes are marketed to people that are already smoking. They're not marketed to non-smokers. So if you actually think that, think again, do your research, do a Google search. You have a computer, right? You're able to put this on your website. You have a computer. Do a Google search. <sighs> USA. Okay. And here we go with something really ridiculous. In 2009, FDA conducted a limited analysis of a sample of e-cigarettes. The analysis found significant quality control issues such as the presence of carcinogens and toxic chemicals, variation in the dose of nicotine in each inhalation, and the presence of nicotine in products claiming to be nicotine-free. Show me which company is claiming that their products are nicotine free and that sell to children. And I'll go ahead and agree with you on that. I'll go ahead and agree with you. Send me the links. Send me their blatant disregard for any kind of, I guess, regulation, humanity, any type of actual advertising that would further their company. Yeah, go ahead and show it to me. Yeah, I'll wait. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep reading your BS letter. Uh, let's see, where was I here? Okay, toxic chemicals, nicotine-free. The study raises concerns regarding the safety of these products, the levels of nicotine and other potentially harmful chemicals, and the marketing of e-cigarettes to children and teens. He says it again, playing the kid card again. Um, yeah, and, and again, show me a place that sells to children, that advertises to children. I, I don't see an e-cigarette in the shape of a candy cane yet being advertised to eight-year-olds so stop it with that already um let's see here tobacco use is the number one killer yeah we know this and we're not talking about tobacco we're talking about vapor we're talking about vapor see and this is another thing that i'm not getting from these these senators either they just don't bother to do the right the research on electronic cigarettes or they're just ignoring it and trying to use it as a different ploy to go ahead and gain votes to other people that don't know about this. Um, and let's see, what else? We call the FDA to issue deeming regulations asserting the agency's regulatory authority over e-cigarettes and other tobacco products. Again, we're not tobacco. Once the authority given by Congress under the Family Smoking 
and tobacco control act including restricting the sale distribution and marketing of e-cigarettes and other nicotine products to children and adolescents end quote okay well i'll tell you this right now senators that's already happening we're not selling to kids none of the vendors i know are selling to kids i don't see any advertisements of it i mentioned it already we don't have any need to try to sell to children in fact we want the exact opposite again if you know of a vendor that is please send them my way so i can post it up everywhere and so their store can get burned down does that sound good to you fine all right we'll go ahead and do that so i decided to try to do a little bit of research on these senators um i did find a couple of their wikipedia pages i'm not sure exactly what their their motivation behind this is it's definitely not for the well-being of citizens if if it was for the well-being of the actual citizens that they work for then they actually would have done new research on it. i mean you can go ahead and do a google search on videos and find videos of studies that have been done on electronic cigarettes last year and this year not all the way back in 2009 so you know what that makes me think maybe they did do a little bit of research maybe they tried to go as far back as possible to go ahead and bash e-cigarettes they didn't want to bother with the new stuff that came out oh no we found this one report of this one e-liquid that probably came from china somewhere and we're going to go ahead and put that in our letter to fda because e six are tobacco they're terrible they're going to kill our kids <laughs> boogeyman's coming for you Overall, these senators do not know what they're talking about. They're not looking out for the people's best interests. In fact, what comes to mind mostly is that one or two or all of them may be in bed with Big Pharma or at least with somebody that is in bed with Big Pharma, like, for instance, Ellen Hahn. You never know that they could be good buddies with her and, you know, you know, want to give her a fist bump, you know give her a one you know so it's just mind-blowing to me that this stuff keeps coming out um senators do your research and people that are watching this do me a favor and i, I don't want you to post hate mail to these senators or anything like that I, i've already sent an email to dick Durbin myself but what i would like to be what i would like to see people do is flood their email boxes, flood them with education, flood them with links, flood them with videos, show them that what they're writing is very, very inaccurate. <sighs> I need a vape after that. Okay, USA again. Um, so definitely go to Dick Durbin's website, take a look at the other senators' websites, I know they all have them, um, and email them, and let's see what we can do about at least trying to get some of these people to stop. I mean, it, it seems like there's so much more motivation than just the safety of others in the political game. Uh, there's so much money being thrown around, especially with the Democratic Party nowadays. Um, and the funny thing is, I, I vote Democrat. I've been Democrat ever since... I was able to vote and this just really really pisses me off that a bunch of democrats want to go ahead and pull this this bs so that's my rant um reviews that i'm going to be doing um i just got in a package from the plume room i'm going to let them steep for a while and go ahead and do a video on three of their flavors i should be recording a video for timeless vapor here very soon and yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a device review for the Smoke Tech Groove, and I'll probably have that up tomorrow or later today. So anyways, that's my video, guys. Thank you again for watching. Peace out.